Hi, today we are going to talk about extrinsic versus intrinsic motivation in regards to health and fitness. I am super excited to bring this to you. I hope that it helps you. I hope it helps inspire you to maybe become more intrinsically motivated to eat better and love fitness. Um, I know it's something that I'm always working on. If this is something you appreciate, please like, comment, subscribe. All of that helps me. I appreciate you guys that have supported me through this new channel. It's been a really fun little roller coaster. So let's get to it. Intrinsic motivation is motivation that comes from within. It's something that you truly enjoy, that you get personal satisfaction from. Extrinsic motivation is motivation that comes from outside sources, um, from rewards like a like on a picture or a pay raise, things like that. Both great types of motivation if it keeps you motivated, but our goal here with this YouTube video is to try to motivate ourselves intrinsically or to develop an intrinsic motivation for the love of health and fitness. I believe strongly that we are born into a home or a situation that helps us develop intrinsic motivations. I know personally I am intrinsically motivated to sing. I have got the bug. I love it. Whether or not I got all the praise in the world, I will continue to sing for the rest of my life. I love music and music has always been a joyful occasion in our home. If we're listening to music, it was always like a dance party. We were blasting a band that we love. It was always just associated with joy and I believe that's why I'm intrinsically motivated. I'm also extrinsically motivated in regards to singing because I do want people to appreciate my talent. I do want people to like how I sing. So I do have that goal to get out there and sing for people and I want them to enjoy it and that's an extrinsic motivation for me. Our goal is to somehow try to create an intrinsic motivation and love for fitness and health. And it's really, really hard. 72% of Americans are overweight, which tells me that most of us have grown up in a household where food was probably a part of a joyous occasion. And, you know, fitness was not necessarily a huge aspect of our lives. And I can say with a surety that that was how I was raised. And I would say my mom liked to work out and she did inspire that in me, but we were all kind of just naturally skinny fat. It was really hard for me to feel motivated because I didn't really see the point of feeling motivated um, because I was easily keeping off weight. And then I hit my mid thirties and that all changed. And suddenly it wasn't so easy, but I still had the really bad eating habits. And so now I'm really struggling and on a roller coaster to try to love eating healthy. The only way that I have found intrinsic motivation to love fitness is to actually start doing it and find how it actually changed my life. And I have been on this journey for probably about a year now of trying really hard to be on track with my fitness. And I have developed fully a love for my fitness. And it's because I know how I feel when I do it. And so I get, and so I get excited for my Mondays knowing that they're a workout day. Now, how do I make myself love food? And so I have gathered some extrinsic motivations to try to help me eat better that I'm hoping will help me develop an intrinsic motivation and love for eating better. I do know for a fact that I started this year off eating much, much better with the Noom app and I, I have to give them a lot of credit for that. It really helped me change my mindset. So I've definitely been better about it and I do know that it made me feel better. I felt better about the way I looked. I felt better about the way I felt. I had more energy. It really did help me. So there was some intrinsic motivation and there's still intrinsic motivation to keep me going. And so now I need some more extrinsic motivation to get me back on track from those party days that I had for my birthday, etc. So one of the number one things that I think we all strive for when we're working on eating healthier is that we are going to feel better, intrinsic, but also look better, extrinsic. 
So number one is just trying to keep in mind what kind of improvements your body is going to show from eating healthier. For me, I know for a fact my skin looks better. I know that I look younger. I also know that I am happier with the way that I fit in my clothes. Not necessarily the most healthy thing. I don't think that extrinsic motivation is always the most healthy way to go with this, but these are things that I'm shooting for to try to make myself more motivated. Number one, I follow fitness bloggers. I follow all of those people to motivate me. I look at them. I see their nice skin. I see the things that they're doing to try to motivate me. I am personally motivated by a challenge. So if I can find some sort of eating challenge, whether it be 75 hard or a four week no sugar thing, that kind of stuff helps me stay on track. I can admit that I don't fully stick with them often because I feel like going into deep cuts of certain types of food is never really mentally healthy. And so I don't want to be a roller coaster dieter. So I try to do things like challenge myself to eat broccoli every day for a month or eat vegetables with every meal for a month rather than trying to cut back on things unless I know that it's something that's really, really healthy to do, like maybe sugar. <laughs> Another type of extrinsic motivation is money. So if you can put money into something like healthy wage and say, I'm going to mm, lose two pounds this week because I am going to get my $60 back if I do this challenge, those types of challenges work really well for me. If I know I'm gonna lose money, <laughs> I will, I will pretty typically stick to it because I am not okay with losing money. I can't afford it. One of my favorite types of motivation is pairing, and I actually learned this from the Noom app. I do not allow myself to maybe like watch my favorite show unless I'm eating a healthy meal. I do that with my fitness as well. I'm not allowed to watch Love Island unless I am doing my workout or I am not allowed to watch whatever your favorite show is unless you're eating and consuming something healthy at that time. Then you are pairing something joyful with something maybe you don't find as joyful and it starts to make your mind think that it is more joyful than it actually is. Another thing that I like to do for myself is when I do set a health goal that if I stick to that goal for maybe a month, at the end of that month, I'm allowed to buy myself something special and I have to write it out. I write it up on the wall and I say, okay, at the end of this month, if I do this, I'm going to get myself, I don't know, what are the things that you like? A brand new car, something like that. I don't know. No, that's that might be a little over the top. I could use a new car though. You also need to learn for yourself what is healthy for you and what's not healthy for you. I find that when I weigh myself every single day, that is a type of motivation. Also, food logging is another type of motivation for me. Seeing that on the outside is motivating for me to work harder if I'm not happy with the way things are going. That could be also really, really, really unhealthy too. So you really need to kind of be aware of who you are as a person and know that if it's not going to be a good situation for you mentally, step back from it. But I do know for me personally, weighing myself daily, tracking macros and stuff are good for me. Another really, really good one is to find a maybe like a weight loss coach, a certified nutritionist, somebody that's going to hold you accountable, a life coach, somebody that's there to help you. Maybe go to a gym that's super motivating in regards to the way that you eat. You can't do it without a buddy. I honestly don't think in the long run. It's really, really hard. I think another really good extrinsic motivation and probably my favorite extrinsic motivation is just in relation to, in relation to goal setting. Um, I believe that if you write down goals and consistently write down goals and consist consistently look at those goals, you will start to see that it becomes internalized and becomes more intrinsic. And above all of this, 
the most important thing is to know that you're probably going to fail at some point. Most of us do. That's why the word cheat day was invented. And I don't even think it should be called a cheat because really, like, it's part of life. And if it's something that you enjoy, why should it be called cheating? We're going to fail. Progress is perfection. If you are working toward a goal and every day you're getting a little bit better, be proud of the fact that you're getting a little bit better. And be proud of the fact that you know you're going to get to a point where you're so good at maybe falling and jumping back up on the wagon that that's something to be proud of. If you had some peanut (coughs) M&Ms, not saying that I did this weekend, (coughs) with some cupcakes, (coughs) not saying that I did this weekend. Okay, maybe I did. That's okay. I know that the next day I'm going to be better and I'm going to balance it out. Balance is key. And so... I think that's the most important thing that you can do to be healthy with trying to, healthy mentally with trying to be healthy physically. If you're looking for a quick fix, we would have all been doing it already. You know, like, I think we all know, it's hard for us to admit, we all know that there's not really a quick fix out there. There's all kinds of diets that you can go on where you just get to eat a bar and a shake that day and then that's it. That stuff's not sustainable. It's not good for you. Go out, visualize what you want. Work for it. Hard work. Hard work is what's going to get you there. You can do it. I need you to help me do it because I struggle. I struggle all the time. Not so much with the fitness anymore. I love fitness. I don't know where that came from, but in the past year, I have developed a love for it. Now I'm really working on the health stuff. And there are a lot of things that I love about being healthy, but I really, really like junk food too. And it's me working really, really hard to try to combat that with learning new types of foods, try new foods, try new recipes. I don't like to cook, so I'm on this hunt for healthy foods at fast food restaurants that I can grab and go. Do that. Make that part of the joy. It's like a journey. Let's do it together. If you have ideas for me, oh my gosh, I need your help. I need your help just as much as anybody (laughs) on this planet. Please help me out. I am inspired by others more than anything. And so please inspire me with your ideas comment below. I'd appreciate it so much. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was even just a little bit helpful. It's been on my mind and I just felt like I had to get it off my chest. Have a great day.